G'day guys, welcome to preliminary final two of the 2020 AFL season on this True Footy AFL Evolution career and you can see on the screen it is going to be a wet and wild day and not in a good way. We're taking on the Adelaide Crows in this prelim which was they had a shock win over the Hawks much like in 2018 when the Demons surprised everyone by beating the Hawks to make them go out in straight sets. Adelaide are the surprise team this year coming to Perth. I'm hoping the result goes similarly to how it ended for Melbourne. Uh, and of course the winner of today's game will be taking on Collingwood in next week's grand final. Collingwood prevailed by three points in Sydney against a strong GWS team after we beat them in with one of the final kicks of the game at the MCG in week one. The Crows have been amazing this season under the new coach Matthew Nix in his first season. Many, including some true footy experts, predicted the Crows to be bottom four this season. But Jordan Gallucci has had a breakout year. I think he's top five in the Coleman, which is incredible. Uh, they have emerged as an absolute, I wouldn't say powerhouse, but they've been a contender just about all year. And it's up to us to put them in their place today. It is a huge game. This would be the Eagles' second grand final appearance in three seasons and against Collingwood again. Should they prevail? In terms of team selection, we've got Dom Sheed returning to the side and Mark Hutchings is the unlucky one to be omitted after a couple of uninspiring performances for the side. He Sheed is a big inclusion. This midfield is still lacking Shuey and it's, uh, it's not quite full strength, but it's probably about as good as it's going to get as we have the national anthem on actually the only final in Perth this final series having obviously had to play week one away against the Pies the Crows look primed and ready it's a very young side that they're fielding with a smattering of experience it's going to be in a bruising a bruising encounter I think there's gonna be a lot of tackles probably pretty low scoring this is going to be a cracker of a game. Oh, he shrugged off a Nat Nui tackle. Not many players do that. Is this Crouch? Oh, they slipped a tackle. Don't tell me he's going to kick a goal. That would be stupid. He's hit the post. Puts it on the boot. It's a foot race to get this one. She on the ball. Ball collected. Oh, interesting choice there. When I. Had a clear play at a handball too. He's throwing it backwards to the opposition. Adelaide lining up for the first goal of the game. It's been a long time coming. It's been a really gross battle in the middle of the ground. And Adelaide are on the board with their first goal through Ben Crocker. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, right, okay, so Andrew Gaff has somehow been smothered despite facing no near. The man on the mark, Adelaide get a cheat goal for this second. Oh no. The momentum has shifted well and truly Adelaide's way. I need to steady the ship, otherwise this game's going to get away from me. Oh no, Nat Nui spoiled, I don't know why he spoiled, because I definitely press Mark. He's tapped it straight down to like a bunch of opposition Adelaide Crows. I'm not having much luck here. And here we go, roll them. Can he pass it to someone who can kick? The answer is yes, just Oscar Allen gets the Eagles on the board, finally. Spoil goes the wrong way. They've given themselves a free kick in front of goal. Oh. That's yeah, that's very questionable. I don't I don't think I pressed handball, but he's handballed to an Adelaide player who's kicked a goal. His game is getting out of control. Cripps needs to be straight with this kick. It is paid the goal. I didn't actually see it cross the line, but we'll take it. Avoids the tackler with a burst of speed. The 
That is a very slack chase from young Jared Cameron. Oh, and it's cost us a mark inside 50. No eagle was managed managed to uh, lay a spoil on that, which was pretty disappointing. Ben, ben Crocker is not a very big player. He's a straight kick, though. Hey, somebody's laid a handball for the Eagles. Oh, two in a row, would you believe it? Josh Kennedy should waltz into an open goal here. And he has. Thankfully, someone can kick straight. The Eagles close within 20. It's an uphill battle, though. Oh, is Nat Nui fired that off? Oh, Liam Ryan. <laughs> Liam Ryan has touched it through when it would have been a goal. That sucks. Oh, Liam Duggan. How do you not lay a tackle there? That is very disappointing. It's going to cost us a goal. I don't know why he uh, failed to affect the tackle here. Adelaide 25 points up. That is half time and gee whiz, this game's almost out of reach already. I don't understand what's happening to these Eagles. They've dropped marks all day. Adelaide Crows barely dropped one themselves. We've been outnumbered at different contests. Oh, sorry, we've outnumbered them at many contests and often lost the contest and they've taken the mark. And it's very, very hard to contain though momentum. Uh, at the moment, we've had no winners across the ground. Shepard's been good in defense. That's about all I can say for us. Bryce Gibbs is tearing us up. Brad Crouch has been good. We really, really need to respond. Otherwise, our season is over. The Eagles need a goal here. Oh. <laughs> We're going to have to leave that in to show... The sort of day I'm having at the moment, Josh Kennedy. There's two goals now that my players have run in and intercepted and run over the line. Seen plenty of it. Allen puts it on the boot. Oh, someone's got to get there. No, no eagle gets there. It was three on one. The only Adelaide player who was nowhere near the ball got there first. That is, sums up the day so far. Didn't actually know... Who had the ball there? I just pressed tackle. He's belted it through for a goal. The Eagles get a rare goal. Oh, come on. That's stupid. Hey, Brendan Archie. He takes a good grab. See, I'll take it, even though I was pressing spoil. The game is weird sometimes, but I'll take the goal. Nat Nui could kick goal of the year here. <laughs> he reckons under pressure. I don't know about that. Surely, surely someone's going to bring home the ball. No, they're not. It doesn't matter. It's three-quarter time. Adelaide lead by eight points. The Eagles were able to erode a lot of that deficit. But I don't feel like they're actually playing any better. They're going to need to put together one of their better quarters for the season to top all these Adelaide Crows in these conditions is just so hard to even think. The Eagles probably need three goals to win this game, maybe four. It's going to be tough in these conditions. I think we've only kept five for the game so far. One quarter to go, guys. If we win, we're into a grand final. Let's if we lose, it's season over. That is a great response from the Eagles straight out of the centre to start the last term. JK should pop this through. The Eagles close within two points with a quarter to go. Cripps with some speed here. Finally a good hand pass from someone, but the kick... He's horrendous. Oh no. This needs to be a good kick from Cameron. He's made up for that terrible, like, I don't even know what to call that. I was going to say something really bad, but I'm not going to say it. It was a shit of a kick that first one. That second one has put the Eagles in front for the first time all day. Oh. 
the camera angle is probably my worst enemy in this game. Here we go. Oh, he's brought him down. Liam Duggan with the heroic tackle. Gives the Eagles a fighting chance. Oh, come on. Ben, ben Crocker, despite being in a far worse position than Shannon Hearn, who was just trying to spoil it, takes the mark. Just have to accept that that's what happened. Ah, poor handball there. Oh, where is the ball? It's a rush behind. God, this is an ugly, ugly game of footy. Here we go. Liam Ryan needs to keep running. Can he run all the way home? He can't. He's taken the bounce. I don't think he's got... Oh, has he got this journey in him? He might just... He's done it. Oh, Jared Cameron. <laughs> Why do they keep intercepting their kicks? Jared Cameron gets the goal anyway. He's had 10 disposals and two goals. Pretty average game from him, but it looks good on the stats, and we lead by nine. O'Brien gets onto the ball. Miller hacks it out of there. Yes, Brando, he's played that well, that role well all year. The intercepting defender. Jetta, probably my pick for our best and fairest. He won't win it. Oh, never mind, he's dead to me. There's not long left in this prelim final. The Eagles are surging forward once again. The Crows suddenly find themselves needing two goals. It is an ugly scrap of a game, but Adelaide out the back here could get a crucial one. Shannon Hearn needs to be clean with this ball. He's going to send it. Oh, he's messed it up. I meant to send it into space. At least we have numbers back here. God. Oh, the Eagles players go missing. Taylor Walker has just missed. I thought that was going to be one of the goals of the season. He shaded the post. Poor defence from me. This game is still alive. Yes, that is holding the ball. Tim Kelly has the chance to settle the ball here. It's not a simple kick by any means, but if this goes through, the Eagles might have booked themselves a spot in the grand final. He's put it through. 14 points to the margin, you'd think. With this late, with this late stage of the game, a goal seems, sorry, three goals seems unrealistic for the Crows. The Eagles get the ball forward again, and it seems like they've done enough here. Oh, Rioli has plucked it. Suddenly, the momentum has swung. He's going to pass it, and that was a really dumb decision. I don't know why I did that. Felt, oh, he's got the free kick again, again. He should put this through. This will be a full stop on the Eagles prelim. They can celebrate now. It's just a matter of minutes until they finally book their spot with Collingwood for a dramatic rematch. Good defensive mark there from Archie. He watches the clock trickle down and that is it. That is the game. The Eagles are through to the last dance. They've booked a date with their old nemesis, the Collingwood Magpies, for a rematch of 2018. The Crows were valiant. They were probably the better side for about two and a half quarters before the Eagles really steadied and put them to the sword, particularly in that final term. It's been a game of attrition. The Eagles haven't played good football, really, since, I would say, almost that... Uh, probably against Port in that first half. The Eagles have been pretty pathetic since then. And today, they definitely got away with one having 11 less inside 50s. But I think the Crows just ran out of steam as they sometimes, as the sometimes sides do in games of AFL Evolution. Wayne Miller takes best on ground in front of Tim Kelly, who had 12 tackles today. An impressive effort for him. Brad Shepard, Jared Cameron and Lewis Jetta had the most touches. I thought Cameron struggled. And I've got a bit of a selection dilemma next week when we take on the Pies in the grand final because Jack Petrocelli was such a good contributor through the first half of this season. He returns to fitness. 
and Jared Cameron would probably be the one I'm considering dropping. Just before we end the video, guys, I thought I would just check in with you on our injury list, and this is what we're going to have facing us for the grand final selection. Petrocelli has come off the injury list. He's likely to come back in for Jared Cameron. Jack Redden and Luke Shuey tragically will not be available for this grand final appearance, but I hope you will be there as you can join us next week where we take on the Collingwood Magpies in the 2020 grand final. Thanks, guys. I'll see you there.